Nesta, say you are getting on my. Okay. On my ne- What's up? Why you like this? Eh? Nesta! Huh? What is this? What it's is okay. that? They are, it's okay. I think Nesta is getting on my neck. Ne- wanted to kill him. Okay. What? Nonsense is this. Daddy is coming. It's okay. It's okay. Mm-hmm. It's okay. Oh. It's okay. So Nesta wants to kill me. It's okay. It's okay. on my neck. Ne- so they've gone. They've gone. They've gone away. Today's the day. It's over. It's Where are you going? You just arrived. Elio. to kill me.
just went down memory lane. You have to pull yourself.
Can't you remember the other time you collapsed like this? It got better after a few hours. Calm down. But well, his body was dead when they did He was not moving. No, Please just take your dog. Stop complaining. Hey, Una. How is your father? He's better. Hey. Hey. Please take me to him. Oh. His wife. No, we know. We are only his children. We don't, we don't want to stress you so that your health situation will not escalate. Please. Do be here. We stay with you at home. While the before I go there tomorrow morning. Why are you people doing with your father? It's, it, it's not as if I'm you're worrying too much. Mommy, please take your clothes. Okay. I will not go to the hospital this time. But first thing in the morning, don't take your clothes. Yes, we'll take your clothes. Take your clothes. Hey, Hey, baby. Father was in fine health when I called him from Amsterdam two days ago. Hmm. It was really fine. Yeah, Nestor was here this morning to tell him about his bad health before leaving to the village. Call everybody, everybody. Nestor, my mom, to maybe nobody speaking up. Probably his bad network. Mm -hmm. Why don't you come inside and eat your food? Mm. Mm? Your daddy is fine. Mm? I know, babe. Very fast. I, I got scared. I, I, I called the doctor. <laughs> but uh, unfortunately, he gave up the ghost 20 minutes after the doctor came in. <laughs> Uncle, please don't <laughs> shout. <laughs> My mom doesn't know her father. She must not hear about <laughs> this. At least for now, because of her health situation. You promise you're going to keep it to yourself? Yes. Thank you. recent attitude. Why can't I be with my husband now? Eh? Mommy, why don't you just wait and see him this evening? You don't need any remember. We have a lot on our hands right now. Don't you worry too much. Okay, okay, do you know I can't see him now. Let me just have my papa. I'll look after him and I'll call him you meet Frowning, come on. Okay, come on, see. you have to put out your rumpled face now. Mm -hmm. Come on, mommy. Come on, come
I'm to make uh, make sure that it will be the best possible okay? for me. My readers to have. I don't like it when you cry like this. Crying will not bring daddy back. What has happened, what has happened okay? Come on, that's okay. Do you think they will allow you bury him your way? So that they don't have any choice in this family. And by tradition and customs, it behoves on me. It falls on my table to take care of his burial arrangement. Nobody will, will try my authority and one thing I will not stay alive and allow is to let anyone cut off any part of my father's body for ritual I will not allow that but that's if they don't get hold of the, of the corpse before you know they won't dare it they won't try it I've already instructed Dr. Ibe and the morticians to take care of that nobody gets to the corpse Nobody. Okay? They won't do it. But I don't just I just don't want you to cry anymore, okay? Come on. Mm -hmm. Listen, let's go inside, okay? Mm -hmm. Come on. Mm -hmm. Give me a smile. Alright, all right, let's go. Your father's death is such a great loss to the brotherhood. He was a great man, and we are going to miss him. He mustn't get to the mortuary. You understand that? Yes, I do. Some rituals are supposed to be performed. Some part of his flesh will be preserved and given back to you to keep this nest of king. You understand? Absolutely. It's a pretty name idea. Okay? Yes, sir. My older brother was with my father at the point of demise. He okay. should have details where he presently is. Okay. I'll the details and get back to you expressly. That's all right. I said I was sympathy. Thank you. Be strong. Sorry. Yourself. Okay. 
My husband sensed it, you know. He was restless all through the night. That's why he left early to the village. I didn't know he had come back from the trip. I called this phone all through the night, but it wasn't going through. Listen up. Take it easy. We have to go through with this. I speak, we don't have a father anymore. Leo, let's see outside because I have to get back to the village today. Father's religion forbids us to take him anywhere near in mortuary. Yeah, it's that. And it's because the survivors to to bury him. It was explicit in his wishes. He forbids us to take him anywhere near in mortuary. It was very explicit. I suggest we bury him first according to the rights he approved. And we can. We'll fix the funeral for another date. Why? Yes, why, if I may ask? Is it that we lack money to give him a befitting burial or we can't sit down and uh, discuss amicably on how to bury him as two consenting adults? But talking about our father's last wishes here, are you asking me why? Need I remind you that I was the one with him on his deathbed. So I should be in a better position to know his last wish. Need I? What is going on here? Excuse me, I asked a question. Second son of Chief Yemisi. I was not in the country when he died, but I wish to spend some time with him, to mourn him, talk to him, to pay my last respect to a great man. I will ask you for some minutes to spend with my father. Accept my sympathy, Mr. Leo. Just give me a few minutes, I'll be right back. It's an order. I don't care whatever anybody 
It is my order. No one must see the cops. Am I understood? Good. It is an order. in charge of it took a cops to a nearby village. I don't know when he's going to come back. So why? You have to come back some other time. See no one, no one here that can show him to me. This is their urgency. Uh, Mr. Leo, we don't work like that. I'm sorry about the inconveniences it might have caused you. Do come back some other time. Yes. Thank you for your time, Doctor. I shall see you again. My father's religion forbids him to be taken to a mortuary. We all know the brotherhood gave him everything, made him everything. His connections, his wealth. And before his demise, he initiated him into the brotherhood as his next of kin. And now they want his corpse. What am I to do? I cannot stand by and watch the brotherhood become strangers at his funeral. That was not my duty. My duty is to see that this corpse is returned to the brotherhood. Let them deal with it as they see fit. I will not stand by and watch this happen just because I have a stubborn older brother. The issue of next of kin is not what we are discussing now. All we need to do is to come together and then sit and discuss like adults. We just have to sit down and agree on a point and everything will go well. The only way things will go well, Uncle Joe, is to abide by my father's wishes. He made it abundantly clear his corpse is not to be found near a mortuary. So if you want peace to reign, first of all, they must bring back that body from the mortuary. And then I will hand it over to the brotherhood. Everybody knows this. Why are we circumventing? My mother knows this. Do maybe know. Even my brother knows. You on Joe knows. to discuss in that meeting. Leonard! Leonard! Leonard, come back! <sighs> Leo, your father's last testament is in my custody. And its proceedings favored you most than any other member of your family. But we have an obstacle, big problem. Nesta? Your mother. She's a signatory to your father's account. Your signature is important to operate this account. And both of you have to agree in order to run it. I have a suggestion. What is it? Alteration. Hmm. Alteration? I have to do it. It's the only way. Listen. My mother and my older brother already pitched them together. So does he. He will never agree. The only way we'll run this, control that burial, is if I'm so signatory to that account. It's the only way. You know what? You go home while I do the thinking.
Mom, I will not stay alive, allow or watch anybody out any part of my father's body. I've instructed the doctors and the mortician to keep on his corpse. I am the first son of this family, and whatever I say stands. My father must be buried my way, the only way, the Christian way. And that's fine. <sighs> Do baby. Yeah, ma'am. Tell the driver to take you to the city. When you get there, tell you to come back to the village immediately. I want to avoid avoiding a meeting. Eh? Okay, ma'am. Where are you going? I'm going to ask you a question. Don't go there and start painting your face. You need to come back here before evening. I wonder why you're avoiding this meeting. Huh? Very important he comes to the village. He has been absent from all the meetings for reasons I do not know. Please tell him to come to the village for us to put a finish to the funeral arrangement. I am an old man. I should be in the village handling things. I'm not shuttling between city and the village. Oh, uncle, please, eh? please do not be offended. I'll talk to him about the meeting as soon as he gets back. It's all right. Uh, I shall move in the way now. Oh, 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 oh. I'm heating up some food for you, okay? Oh, my wife. I'll give you some of that time. Thank you very much. Are you sure? Yes. Okay. I'll give you some of that time. Let me see you. Okay, thank you. Our tradition and custom forbid that. And our people are against it. How can you deny a man of his right because of his choice of religion? I try to say that Nesta is no longer Raphael's son because he's born again. No, 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 no. I am not saying that. What I'm trying to say is this. I am not against any of the Raphael's sons. I'm only a barrister doing my job. Carrying out instructions left behind by Raphael. He did say that it's only Liu and his mother can withdraw money from that account. And he made it categorically clear that Liu is his nest of kin. But the mother is still alive and she does not support the idea of Liu being the next of kin. So how will it work? I don't know. Maybe you should tell me, hmm? Mom, 
Yes, my dear. I don't like the way Dad is handling this issue at all. Nesta is older than you. By custom, he is the first son of Uyemesi's family. And so should have access to his father's assets. Dad is not being reasonable at all. I'm not happy about it. Mom, you have to talk to him. <sighs> My dear, I don't know what has come over your father. And I don't know why he should even think of taking side with Liu. <sighs> anyway, I will still keep talking to him. Hmm? BP, my dear, stop worrying. No. Check what we are cooking. Ah. BP. Yes, Dad. I wasn't that happy when I was told what to do. When the instruction was given, whole heart went to you. Knowing how much it could affect you, but there was nothing I could say or do to counter the will. I am only a legal luminary. But you don't have to worry at all. If they finally get it all, trust me, I will support you and Nesta. I will be there for you. Dad, what kind of support can you possibly give, give me when you deprive my husband of his rights? I didn't. Dad, you can't do that to us now. You can't. Let's just hope that your husband's obstinacy could lead to something profitable. Dad, you can't just sit here and hope. If anyone has to do anything right, then you're the one. Dad, you need to go out there and hear what people are saying about you regarding that issue. Dad, just, you have to do what the culture and tradition say. Oh, Pascaline. Hi, Jim. How are you? Good. How did you, sir? How are you? Good. I didn't know you had company. I am. Um, I went outside. You do that. Okay. How's your husband? Fine, fine. Thank you. <sighs> Pippi, relax and let's see how it goes. Okay? She had gone to influence her father to give everything to Nesta. Hmm. This is serious, you know. Yeah. This is crazy. You know we could lose everything at this point. Everything. This is crazy. If Nesta wins, everything that has ever slipped for. Everything it owned could go to his brethren at the church. That was what dad was trying to avoid when he named me chief beneficiary. I can't let it happen. I cannot let it happen. Baby, calm down, okay? With the way you're handling this issue, you might just break down. Please calm down. I think I have to go and see mother. What about Uncle Joe? That is a hypocrite. Career liar would dance to anybody that plays his tune. And get busted. Hmm. This is just a dividend of a corrupt mind. So, Pascaline cannot see her father anymore? Because she went to his office to see him, therefore she's trying to bribe him. <laughs> Dumebi, watch the way you speak to me, okay? Were you not aware that I was at your house and your husband sent me away? No. Okay, fine. But you are aware that Mama has been sending for Liu and he has refused to show up? Look, we are not against Liu or you. What we are trying to say is that Nesta cannot take orders from your husband, who is his younger brother, just because of some nasty religion he is not part of. Do maybe watch the way you speak to me and refer to my husband, okay? Don't forget that he is my brother too. Oh, okay, um, 
I'm sorry, okay? I don't mean to make trouble with you, but we're just trying to get things right here. That's all. Fine. That's okay. Um, just tell Ma that I was here. And, uh, I need to rush back to the city. It's getting late, okay? <laughs> okay. My regards to everyone. No. My husband and I were born. If my husband were alive, he wouldn't have supported this. I don't even know how this started in the first place. Eh? Well, what you suggested would be the way out. Well, I think we should involve other members of our kinsmen. Nesta. No, now. This is a family issue. And I believe we can handle it. Leo is my son. I carried him in my womb for nine months and delivered him. So he cannot dictate to me how to bury my husband. Since he has decided not to sign for cash withdrawal, no problem. We will gather the little we have and do this burial. Since he has decided not to, not to sign any, any cash withdrawal for us, no problem. Studio here. It's good you're here. Let us iron this. Okay, good day, sir. Welcome. My good afternoon. Mm -hmm. My guy has Bible school now. Ah, uh, Mama, I came to see you, but I see you with strangers. I'll, I'll come back. Yeah, Leo, Leo, Leo. Let us iron things out here, Miko. Now? Yes, now. Okay, Mom. Well, there's nothing to sort out, Mama, seriously. Yeah, it's true. You're sitting here with your favorite son that can't do wrong. I'm the black sheep of the family, the agent provocateur, you know, so that's fine. But what you don't know is that this Nick on poop here is the Antichrist. He's the one that sent his wife to his father-in-law to try to change the will. Yes, steal money off us. Listen, Joe. One more word out of that you're stinking mouth. If you vomit that thing, you vomit it again. I am going to hit you down here. I might be born again, but I'm not stupid. So be careful. It's finally showing his true colors. The pastor wants to beat up the baby brother. But you know what? You're not man enough. Dad knew that I'm the man. And that's why he made me the head nigger in charge. Deal with it. It's you like you that bring out the evil in godly men. My guy, I've dealt with you before I give you your name. I don't want to It's okay. That's all right. That's all right. You know why you're rolling your mouth? Don't worry. You'll soon apologize. I'll bury you first before I do that. Yeah. Right. I'll hold him or you'll be losing a son soon. I have time for this. I'm a high roller, man. I have time for losing. You will beg. You will apologize. Why I came to you is because you're the closest one to father before he died. And you're one person that everybody respects. My husband was made the next of kin by his father. And no one should take that away from him. No? No one will take it away from him. <sighs> Uncle, Pascaline was at her father's office and I'm sure she was trying to confuse him. Because after that incident, he's been acting really strange. Oliver can never walk against Raffles' wish. You see, there is something the Uyemese family has got to get right. That the wish of a man before his death is sealed. Cannot be changed. I rather go straight to Well, anyway, um, before you go, um, I was just leaving. So, I'm 
not with, we have to have a meal together like a family. Oh, um, please, probably another time, okay? All right, thanks. Uncle, I just get, go straight to white hair. Uncle, please. I want you to talk some sense into Leo. Leo has gone bananas. The way Leo opens his mouth to talk to people anyhow these days, he should watch it. I'm just coming from Uncle Joe's house for a meeting. Uncle, Leo insulted me and called me names in presence of my mother and Uncle Joe. What did I do wrong? That we should settle this issue. Uncle, please, go and talk some sense into him. Because the, the day Leo opens his mouth and talk to me in that manner, heaven will let loose on him. That I try to be calm, quiet, to listen to everybody in this family. Doesn't make me a fool. Uncle, please, talk to him. Do you know, Leo almost hits my mom and Uncle, um, Uncle Joe with, with, with his car. Uncle Joe's waist is burning him. I am here as a friend of the family. You see, Raphael was a bosom friend before his death. So I cannot sit and watch things go wrong. I've been waiting to hear about the date of his funeral, but to no avail. So I just came to know what is happening. Uh, it is the will. Anne says the husband did not write any will before he died. And since this family is not a polygamous one, and besides, she is alive and can handle the, the property as the custom demands. But we have to look for a way to draw our funds because the funeral must hold. Yes. Uh, and besides, Rafa, my friend, told me categorically that his first son was not worthy to handle his word. But let me. You are among those spoiling this family. Eh? That kind of statement shouldn't have come from an elderly person like you. It's alright. I'm so sorry. I have to go. I just came because I care. Yes. Oh, this, um, see you some other time. Uh, go yes. and mind your own family. Sorry. is that Nesta is a Christian. <laughs> I am a barrister. I know, but we must not forget the laws of the land. Bikono, I wedded my husband in the church and we lived a good Christian life. If along the line he joined the fraternity, that is not my business because I am not part and parcel of it. There is no way, absolutely no way, I can turn against my first son just because he's born again. No. <clears throat> well, I advise you to settle with your son, Leo, so that your money can be released to you. Then we go to court. That's right. Yes, we go to court. is willing to cooperate and no one is budging. In fact, the mother who is a signatory to that account is in support of the first son and she threatened to go to court. And if she ventures, I'm afraid we lose the whole world. Look, 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 you won't allow this happen, will you? See, let me tell you something. You are the lawyer in charge here and you must use all that is available to you to stop them. 
Moreover, we have to get in touch with other members of the Brotherhood so that they make use of their connections. We must not lose this whole world and our influence to the commoners. But I think we should gather together and say prayer over this situation. I think so too. Yes, I, I think so. because of a mere woman. It is the barrister that I blame for all this. It's two-faced. He came before the brotherhood and declared that what is written is written. And we took his word for it. Now the same man is coming around again to tell us that he's legally tied. Illegal luminary. My dear, I just wonder. I know when this all started. I was at his office a few weeks ago and I saw his daughter Pascaline there. And since then, I can tell you, his loyalty to the Brotherhood has waned considerably. Yes, yes. I observed that also. He has become like a discipline about the whole issue. No whole point. We must tread carefully, sir. Let me look at the course of events as they unfold. And I'll know what next decision to take. Yes, it's alright, my dear. Thank you, sir, for your concern. I'll keep you up to speed. I told you. You mean I did? Now come this one. Is there anything about me that you don't know? I don't think so. Sweetheart. Yeah. There's something I want you to make me understand. Yeah. Well, um... I heard Nestor is being pushed and being denied his right because he's a born again. Is it true? And if it is true, what do you and your father have against the church? Nestor is not being pushed because he's born again. And we have absolutely nothing against the church. Father was not a Christian. Every man has a choice to his religion. And I'm not exactly Christian, but I'm not a pagan either. He asked me to run things because I'm the best qualified for the job. I stayed close to him while he was running the empire, and I have all the necessary degrees too, baby. You know, I have two MBAs in business, and just just how the world runs. It's not by birthright you run things. It's by logicality. It's that simple. And as to his preferences, the wishes of a dead man is the wishes of a dead man. It's that simple, baby. Okay. Holy, my dear. Yes, darling. Please, you have to look into this case strongly. Remember, Nesta is your daughter's husband. And anything that affects him also affects our daughter too. Mama Pipi. I've had all that you said. Change this topic. 
do not stretch. A bald red. Uh, you are bald. Sorry, I have said my own. What's going on? You're acting funny of late. How do you mean? Since your daughter came here to see you, your countenance has changed. You are out of your mind, young man. My daughter has every right to come and see me whenever deems fit to her. Of course. But it's also obvious she's buying you over. <laughs> you are rather getting insolent. Get out of my office now. Okay. Give me a copy of my dad's will and I'll leave. Which of them? The one you gave me or the one your father has in my custody? Doesn't matter, I'll get it myself. Oh hell breaks the little thing. You. I mean, I, I, I don't know what has come over, over Leo. What's the meaning of all this? Uncle, please, please, I don't know. Please, just, just forgive. Forgive and forget. Um, I brought um, a little gift downstairs to come and say we are sorry. Because, I don't know, I don't know what must have pushed Leo into doing an act that is as shameful as this. Okay. The apology has been accepted. Thank you very much. And you're welcome. Thank you very much, Uncle. Thank you very much. God bless you. So, how is uh, Pippi and Sandra, my daughters? Well, they are there. They are very well. I'm very sure that uh, Pascaline will be so much very, very happy to hear that you have forgiven us. You're no you're not more, uh, you know, angry with all that. So that's the reason you beat up an old man. Look at what you're telling yourself. Leo, you're going too far. You now lack a sense of judgment. Are you finished? Because if you are, I'm sure you're familiar with the door. And I'm also sure you know how busy I am. May I remind you that is my father-in-law we are talking about here. You hate an old man just because of a mere will. Leo, you're going too far. Just watch. You are going too far. Your wife connived with her father to rip me of my benefits and you stand here and shoot your mouth off like it's not provoking enough you know how to use the door use it I'll forgive you this one but watch it watch your story Is there a problem? Yes, there is. Tell him when he comes back that I came here so he can beat me the way he beat my husband. What? He beat your husband? <laughs> Ask me again. 
Just tell him to thank his stars I didn't meet him. Makamuni Agari won you from the foot Mama! of a dead man. He did not want his corpse anywhere near mortuary for any reason at all. Your brother, his successor brought him here. I'm not here to trade words with you, Doctor. It is my duty to fulfill my father's last wishes. Are you or are you not going to help me? Mr. Lee, I'm sorry I cannot do that. You were not the person that brought and registered him here. So I cannot give you the cops. Your brother was with him when he passed on. So I suggest you guys sit down and talk this over. If this blows out of proportion, this hospital will be too hot for you. Trust me. I don't make empty threats, doctor. See, I, I am not making any trouble here. All I'm saying is that things should be done properly. Majesty, I thought you were going to ask. Can't you see the plaster on my face? Yes, I was about to ask. It. That little boy Leo hit me and gave me this injury. What? Actually, I'm on my way to the hospital to get the stitches removed. How can you begin to do this to a topper? Huh? Your Majesty. Anyway, I, I will see him. I will see him. Nonsense. was badly injured. It was even stitched. Here! That bad? Oh, Chinakeni. What is that boy turning into? Eh? What is wrong with Leo? Where did he learn all this from now? Eh? What is Leo turning into? Oh, Biko. Biko, forgive. Oh, forgive. You know, I've not started going out. As soon as I can, I'll go and see your father. Only oh, Biko. Hi, Chinook, can you hear you? Hi. Mommy, mommy, you, you have to talk to you. You have to talk to him. He's biting more than he can chew. What kind of problem is this? I don't understand you anymore. Ha. I don't understand the game. You are spoiling things for yourself. Your father made everything so easy for you. But with the rate you're going, you might lose it all. You're going too far. I mean, you had no right whatsoever to hit that man. A man old enough to be your father? Your in-law? How insolent can you be? He 
Even the meetings at the village has had no effect on you. You insult people, you work out on people. How wealthy do you think you are? Listen, hon. You cannot get their support if you keep acting that way. So what do I do now? Well, um, I think you should talk to Uncle Joe. Sit him down, talk man to man with him. If you give him a good amount of money, I'm sure he'll start dancing to your tune. He's next to your father. And if you have his support, you have it all. This is from my wardrobe. <laughs> I have been saving this for a day like this. Um, let me pass it back to you, Uncle. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, you are the true son of your father. <laughs> um, I will go and bring Mama Joka back. And I'll start a trade for a very good trade for Chuka, my son. Then <laughs> I will buy a bus that will be running on transport for me. Yes, you are the true son of your father. I can now see what your father saw in you that made him to make you his highest beneficiary. Thank you. <laughs> hey, but you must attend tomorrow's meeting so that it doesn't look like a planned deal. No problem. Um, I'll be there. Good. You can drink this. Drink all of it if you can. <laughs> no, I'm driving on my way back. All right, all right. But that's fine. You can start a celebration. <laughs> Let me hit the phone. Okay. I'll make the meeting tomorrow. Do you, in the name of everything you hold there, don't report this to the Brotherhood. Let this be known only to you, Carlos and I. He's still a boy and he's really apologetic. But I know why I decided to become about this. That boy Leo is making things difficult for himself. There's a way that you go about an issue and you lose the benefits completely. Well, I take it that if accepted, please do this for Raffle, if not for me. It's all right. I see what I can do. Sir. Yeah. I'm here to remind you about your meeting with Kesinko's petroleum in the next 30 minutes. Oh, I forget. Get the fire sweat and we'll leave soon. Right. Okay, sir. Thank you, sir. Sir, I would want to have a word with you. I have a word with you? I hope all is well. It's about Nesta, sir. Nesta? What about him? You see, sir, Nesta does not want to allow sleeping dogs lie. He does not want his brother to take what rightfully belongs to him. And he's delaying his father's funeral. I have discussed this matter with Nesta, but he has been adamant. I told him to leave devil's gift, it is of no use. I wonder why he want to soak his hand in money made from blood. I've been talking, but I will still try. I told him to give uh, to Caesar what belongs to Caesar. I wouldn't want anyone running to me later on for family liberation and covenant breaking. Or breaking of courses. 
I, I will talk to him some more. I will. Please do, sir, because the strife and rancor they are trying to build up will not go well for the family. I will. I will still speak to him again. You do, sir. Um, sir, you are a very busy man. Moreover, you are having your meal. So, how can we do Sir, I don't want to join you now. I'll just have my meal, sir. Sir, may you have less. You're scaring me. I don't know who has been following me. The cat read me right from the hospital. Let's start. You told me that your father is a cultic. You ran to the church because you didn't want to be used for rituals. How come? How come you are now fighting to be the head of world cutting through evil means. Less than and less than good, my son. If you reject the devil, you reject all his works and gifts. Leave your brother who believes and belongs to them to have it all. I am born again. Yes. And that doesn't make me stupid. Even when Jesus Christ entered his father's house and saw it being turned to a marketplace. He cleared everyone and sanitized the house. I won't let this evil continue in my own father's house. I will sanitize my father's house through this opportunity. <laughs> Nestor, are you teaching me the Bible? No, sir, I can't teach you the Bible. In times like this, we have to rub minds together. You have always taught me that iron sharpened iron. I will not release my father's cups to those cultists. It's not possible. I won't. Well, you better think of what I have told you. How is your mother? Oh, mommy is very well, thank you. Good. Are you saying that I should hold on for now? Yes. You know, the people you're coming to introduce yourself to are the same people planning for this burial and they will not want to listen to anything else till the burial is over. That's why. It's alright. You're right. But I just can't wait to have you all to myself. Oh, darling. You have me all to yourself already. You put this in too. I sure did. So, where exactly are you going from here? My lunch time is over. Um, my niece and nephew, uh, today is their visiting day at school and I would love to visit them before I go. It's okay, that means I will drop you off then. Oh, fine. Alright. Yeah. Oh, you guys are 
guys are okay, right? Yeah. Auntie, you don't come to visit us these days. Uh -uh. But I'm here now. After a very long time. Haha. <laughs> so that's not mean you guys missed me. Oh, darlings, I miss you guys too. But you know, a lot has been happening at home recently. Like what, Auntie? Mm. You want me to tell you? But you guys have to promise me that you'll be as strong as Ninja. Yes. Listen, okay? Grandpa has traveled. He has gone to be with the Lord. And he's not coming back soon. So you will see Grandpa again. You will see Grandpa again, but not in the not in the nearest future. It's going to be after a long time. Are we going to be there at the Saint Paul's party? Of course, everyone is going to be at the Sanford party, okay? But I must assure you that Grandpa traveled happily, okay? It's time. Your busy day is over, let's go, okay? I'll come and visit you very, very soon, yeah? <coughs> the kids men have agreed that we can use our contributions to very rapidly. So that can be done in two Dejo, that is better. By the time I contribute and Nesta contributes, we will have enough to bury my husband. Instead of waiting for this trouble to escalate. They, I just want to bury my husband and mourn him peacefully. I know what this is all about. You say you live like a no part of the equation, right? Okay. If I agreed. Whatever has to be done to give Father a befitting burial, I'm part of it. We don't have to manage this, you know. Not a man of that structure will be statues too large for that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. Only you and I will go to the bank. Since we are both signatories, we'll do enough to make this. Leo, we understand you. But let us leave your father's will out of this. If I contribute, Nesta contributes and you add your own, we'll have more than enough. Why we manage you when we know that we have more than enough money? Uncle, I don't understand this. If I disagree, there's a problem. I agree, there's a problem. I said if I agree, whatever plans you people want to start with, let's go ahead and make it happen. Thank you. I've given up, baby. That's it, I'm done. I can't deal with these people anymore. They still insist on burying him two weeks from now. Against his wish. Now, I can't do anything. Well, if that's what they want, then I guess we just have to join them. So when do we stop preparing to travel? Wait a minute, what of Obi now? Mm, I'll pick him up two or three days before the event. Okay. Well, Leonard, accepting this proposal is quite dangerous. Now that he has agreed to sign, Honestly, Nesta, I think it's better we leave this issue of will and face the funeral. I, I wonder why it should be an issue when Dad hasn't been buried. So that honestly, the will hasn't been an issue for me. What I am after and what I'm concerned about is for my father's scalps to be buried the right way. Whether Leo is going to gain anything in the process or lose anything, that is secondary for now. So that, that reminds me, please, we really have to see your father before we get to the village. Yes, we really have to. We finish this Oh, please, don't forget my... Uh... But how can you allow that to happen? The consequence will be unbearable for us if Raphael is buried with all the necessary parts we need. It will be a terrible thing if Leo is the problem that I have. He makes things very, very difficult for the brotherhood and himself. So, what do we do now? Well, as it is, we have to attend the burial funeral individualistically rather than as brotherhood. <laughs> You can't say such a thing. There's nothing else to be done, sorry. Doctor. 
done is wrong. What are you running to? Why are you trailing me? You've been trailing me all over the town. What is it you want from me? I'm trained in a peculiar way, Doctor. My father trained me to believe he can get anything he wants. Anything, no exception. I know where you live. I know where your wife works. I know where your kids go to school. I know your club. I even know that little sweet girl you have on the side. <laughs> I guess all men are like in that respect, right? <laughs> we like that. Oh. Hmm. I didn't come here for that. I came here to make you a proposition. And um, what could that be? Okay. I'm a wealthy man, doctor. But not the kind of wealth you can imagine on most mortal men. I'm wealthy beyond most men's imaginations. Which means you can name any figure that comes to your head. Any figure. In whatever currency you like. And I'll make it happen right here, right now. I only need you to allow me to have my father's body for one day. Allow me perform my duties. I'll let you have the body in good time for the funeral. In that way, you'd have made more money than most men ever. And on the other hand, you fulfill your profession duty by delivering the body to my family in time for the funeral. Hmm? Nobody will know. Trust me, I do not divulge secrets. Just you and me, two of us, or I think three of us in this respect. You and me are my dead father. <laughs> I say we don't have a sense of humor here. What do I say, Doctor? You have two options, really. Two. You cannot become a very wealthy man, very wealthy, or I can make elaborate arrangements to make you join my father fast. Think about it carefully. This could be a life threatening situation of your friends. But I have no fear. But from what I heard, I hear doctors are uh, <laughs> very apt to emergencies. You should smile more, doctor. It's not the end of the world. I, it has to be by 9 a.m. So you want to leave me? Stay for breakfast. No, no, I'll come back and see you. So how is your mommy? Mommy's fine. It's just that sometimes she'll just drift into this solitude mood and... I understand. Yeah. No, it's okay. I should be the one crying, you know. <laughs> Where is your mother? Where is your mother? Where is your mother? This place has to be cleaned. Nesta's family is coming back today. What you saw? Mm. What, what did you say? Raphael visited me in the night. My husband? Yes. And uh, he had tears in his eyes when he was talking. And he said a lot of things. So. What, what, what did he say? 
that uh, I should make a fire stand for him. That when he is, it's too cold for him. He said a lot of things. I couldn't sleep again until early hours of this morning. I... The, does that mean that he's not happy being in the mortuary? I don't know. But you people should please count me out from now with every arrangement you people are making. Please, I am no more in support of the burial. De, uh, De Jo, De Jo, please, Uncle Jo. I don't understand. Is it just because of what you? So that is why he doesn't want to take part in any burial plans again, Mama. This dream is funny. Just because of one dream, he has cancelled everything. He's not taking his brother's burial. What kind of dream is that? is so evil, the heart of man is deceitful, man can kill just to be rich, man can kill to succeed, be careful 